also down here on planet Earth, National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizek is in Montreal, to be exact, his position on Earth. Andrew, good to see you. How unusual was it to have something like this old, this large, and originating from so far away in space pass through our solar system? Well, that's a good question. I mean, we at this point, we're, we have not seen uh, anything of this size, this shape, coming from outside of the solar system, careening through. I mean, it's, it's definitely not from the solar system because of its pathway, its trajectory, the, what it's following, the speed that it's going. It's, it's done a slingshot effect around the sun, and it's moving back out very quickly out into the solar system. Um, and we're we're really racing now to uh, get as much data on the physical properties of this object as fast as possible. I mean, it is cigar-shaped, which is very unusual uh, for uh, any kind of natural type of object. It doesn't mean that it can't exist. It could be simply a shard from uh, some a massive collision that occurred hundreds of millions of years ago in another star system, uh, basically jettisoning out, jettisoning out a lot of... Uh, uh, material out into the out into the interstellar space, and it was grabbed by the gravitational well of our sun, pulled in, and then now shot back out by by the sun again out into mm. space. It, we don't know at this point, but it's racing away at such high speed that uh, we really need to get our telescopes focused on it now in the next few weeks to be able to get data on the physical properties. Oh, more to ask. But I want to move on from mysterious ancient asteroids to Google's use of NASA data to make a discovery of their own in space. What did Google's artificial intelligence help discover? So we're talking about what's called machine learning. This is what Google uses to identify uh, facial recognition and masses of amounts of pictures, uh, something that human eyes can't pick out. And this is the same technology that was used now with uh, reams of data that have been collected by NASA's uh, Kepler exoplanet hunter. And uh, it's, it's looked over over 600 star systems and have found planets in that uh, in that data set that the humans were not able to pick out because the the signals were just too weak for humans to detect so m through using machine learning artificial intelligence we've been able to actually find new planets and this week they announced uh, a planetary system that's 2,500 light years away from Earth that has eight planets, just the same number as we do. It looks like a miniature crunched up version of our solar system. And this is really thanks to using Google's artificial intelligence. Something that we use on Facebook and other social media systems is now being applied to real astronomical science. Well, here's some science that is really puzzling in many ways, not the least of which it's a program that's now over, discontinued, what, five years ago. But the Pentagon has just released that it had <laughs> hidden a UFO program that it closed down in 2012. What, what more are you able to tell us about this and what the Pentagon discovered about UFOs during the time that it was uh, spending this money studying and watching for them? Right. So this program was initiated uh, uh, back in 2000, I think it was in 2007, by uh, then a Democratic majority, Senate majority leader, H Harry Reid, who really believes in, in UFOs, the existence of aliens out there. And he wanted to make sure that press that uh, <clears throat> there would be a, a, a look-see by the military to see if there were any unusual unidentified flying objects. And they, they created files on things that military uh, air personnel would see during flights. Right. And sure enough, there were a lot of collections of very interesting video and things of ob unidentified objects. But let's just keep in mind that this, um, this collection of data is of unidentified flying objects and doesn't mean that it is of alien origin. And when we talk about aliens and the potential of UFOs being of alien origin, really we need extraordinary evidence if we have uh, these extraordinary claims, just like mm. Carl Sagan, the late astronomer, mm. said. So yeah. we have to keep that in mind. It's interesting. Maybe there's a pearl somewhere <clears throat> in all this reams of data, but uh, we don't know that yet. Well, always pearls with you, my good friend, National <laughs> Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizekas. Thanks again, as always. Clear skies.